Allah challenges the reader to look for contradictions if they think the Qur'an is man-made. What we find is that the message is 100% consistent with absolutely no contradictions. Well, the skeptics annotated Quran has a fair number of alleged contradictions. Now that author also does the same thing for the Bible, but Christians have a reply to those alleged contradictions that Muslims do not have. Christians believe the Bible's human authors were true authors. They were not mere secretaries writing down God's dictation. In 1 Corinthians, St. Paul talks about how he doesn't remember who he baptized, for example. So many skeptical arguments against the Bible can be explained by God allowing the human authors to do things like use ancient literary conventions, inexact summaries or genealogies, anthropomorphic language, or ancient scientific presuppositions the divine author had no need to correct. The Quran, however, is supposed to be just the actual word of God. It is God speaking to us. So this explanation for Bible difficulties doesn't work for the many difficulties in the Quran, like its claim that semen comes from between the backbone and the ribs rather than the testicles. Even if there were no contradictions in the Quran at all, it was completely void of contradictions, that would not prove it was divine. You could write a fictional story that has absolutely no contradictions, but that wouldn't prove that the story is divinely inspired. You would need additional evidence that the error is absent because of divine intervention. Allah also told us that he would make the Qur'an easy to learn. Today, millions of people around the world have the Qur'an stored in memory. Every single generation since the Qur'an was revealed has had memorizers, making it the only book in history to have passed down in both human memory and written form. If all books were to just disappear, the only one that would be back in a day is the Qur'an. So what? There are many beliefs that are passed down in written and unwritten forms that people share all over the world, but that does not mean they're divine. Even if this were only true of the Qur'an, being unique, is a common property of things in the natural world. That doesn't mean they're divine. Also, the Bible is easier to learn than the Quran because Christians never say the Bible can only be truly understood in one language. The Quran, on the other hand, is only truly understood, Muslims say, when it is read in its original Arabic text. In fact, Muslims recognize that there are many people who can recite the Quran, but don't understand what they're reciting. One Muslim website says, there are these people who keep telling you to memorize the Qur'an and speak about the much reward you gain through memorization. There are so many Havis out there who memorize the Qur'an and do not even understand what it means." End quote. So once again, we do not have evidence for a divinely inspired text. It may be a very unique text, but being unique does not entail being divine.